Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video section we have something quite astonishing to talk about. Let's look at the animation, the movies, the you know, the Hollywood effectively, how they've actually take, taken knowledge of the ancient civilizations and they mashed them into animation showing us the truth effectively in the background, subliminal messages effectively so that we will trivialize the truth and never actually believe the truth of our past as in the ancient gods, the old world, the resets and more in the ancient aliens. I mean there's so many things here which are just amazing. So first one is He-Man, a very famous known TV show and it's called He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Funny enough that's right, and he has this cross in front of him. Now this is an ancient monument linked to the Sumerians, okay, the Sumerians god. And this is exactly the same as you can see here. His crest is the same one. Kind of indicating that this guy represents or is linked to an ancient civilization of advanced technology. Moving on to the next one, here we have Avatar. Avatar, as you can see here, in ancient drawings and morals from the South American culture, we have something very similar. These beings, these creatures, are very similar to the Navi in many shapes and forms. You know, the bluish color, very tall, very long, long limbs. I mean, it's just incredibly similar, isn't it? Which just kind of brings about some suspicion that these beings actually existed. Another one, the mask. Now the mask is actually quite an interesting one because it comes from a legend that there was back in the day a demon, a green demon or some sort of like actual magical mask in the past which would convert someone to a very aggressive demon and this is very interesting because the mask we see in Hollywood, they've trivialized this particular legend making him look like he's the good guy with Jim Carrey but actually in reality the original history of the green mask is actually very very bad because this bean was a very evil one. Moving on to the Black Panther, that's right, the panther kind of sculpt or head was actually found in the pyramids of Ohio. I mean look at the resemblance of this and this compared to this. It's pretty much the same isn't it? As in effectively they've copied knowledge of ancient gods which had head of animals. Again, the, the movies are basically telling you in your face the past, it's just that they're hiding it in a very smart way. Star Wars, the same thing. I mean, we have 2,000 year old figurines, all right, uh, which are from found in America, and they have all these helmets, all these faces. I mean, you can clearly see that when George Lucas took inspiration, he knew about these sculptures and he actually inspired himself in these particular figurines and these are looking very modern like almost like these visitors on earth has some special suits okay protecting them protecting their faces and actually hiding their real faces under these quite heavy and bulky masks i mean it's pretty dang obvious guys it is even two-face even two-face all right we have discover artifacts in america which showcase a human head or some sort of head of a bean which is split half half okay we have the red side we have the white side and again it shows that this could be particularly a type of humanoid which lived back in the day with the humans I'm not sure of course there's you know there's so many interesting things here because this guy just shows that most likely the mutants we kind of like see in movies and you know animation and Marvel and stuff maybe actually existed in the past and you know there's quite a lot of evidence linked to that particularly. Now moving on to a completely different topic, we're looking at ancient mushrooms. Now apparently about 400 million years ago before trees were common the earth was covered with giant crazy mushrooms but not just that if you guys studied a bit more about the ancient true history we know that back in the day there were these huge, giant, massive trees. I mean these silicium seas or silica trees which are just massive, gigantic, okay, and they were petrified. And let's just compare this with this. I mean as you can see here, comparing these two photos together and especially this one here, you can actually already see that potentially 
the some of the stones we see actually in the desert could actually be petrified mushrooms i know it's a hard pill to swallow it's a really red and hard pill to swallow i know that but just think for a second this is just very suspicious guys extremely suspicious okay moving on to more interesting stuff as well this in this painting here we see a war happening but in this painting there's something very unusual we see that people are actually going on what we can tell they are effectively dinosaurs they're not camels because you can see here the size of them is much much different compared to a camel as you can see in this example as well and they resemble what we could see as effectively a stegosaurus so again this just adds fuel to the theory that back in the day humans were actually fighting and using dinosaurs and dinosaurs are actually not that big as they want us to believe in ancient rome for example we have this interesting creation and this one romans are fighting what we can see is clearly also a reptilian dinosaur I mean, just look at that thing, it's pretty obvious that that is a dinosaur. So dinosaurs most likely, guys, existed alongside the humans at some point in history, and they're actually not that old, and also, they're not that big. That was just marketing and Hollywood, but in reality, dinosaurs were never like super massive, gigantic, ever. Now, another one, this one also is a very interesting one. In the Walters Art Museum, USA, has a painting of a woman with a giant flashlight which literally mesmerizes a deer hypnotizing it okay so the other person can hit it with an arrow and kill it this painting originates from the ancient india about a few thousand years ago what sort of technology they were using so they could actually hypnotize animals straight in their faces and then literally make them an easy prey Something quite odd is happening here, guys. And finally, to end up this video, we have to talk about some of the most incredible giant doors which just are literally standing in our faces and they're screaming to us, telling us, bro, are you freaking kidding me? Don't you see that this was not made for humans? This is an allegory. This is a comparison, okay? We have the cat leaving a modern house door, okay? which is the normal size in any American city, okay? And then we have this one here. The human fits in literally one third of the door. It's just incredible. So as you can see here, these massive doors, okay? And I have another example here. Just, I mean, there's so many examples. These huge, gigantic doors, they don't make any sense. This one here, of course, also, I mean, here as well. We have that, the, the way to pull them is actually all the way up here and you actually need another size of a human on top of this human. Almost same here, maybe there's like half. But as you can see here, the person needs to be super tall because this is like the level where they would use their hands, which means that their actual head would be somewhere around here super massive big effectively double the size of a normal human being again it just doesn't make any sense guys it's just so weird so weird these massive doors gateways are obvious that they are places for giants of the past another problem we have with these places is that remember back in the day there were tons of wars tons of conflict so if your you know gateway or building or whatever palace had this massive huge gateway just imagine how dangerous it would be because the enemy soldiers could get in very easily again do you see that it just doesn't make any sense from a strategical point of view it just doesn't make any sense this one is from portugal once more if we calculate the person size we have one two three four five and a bit so literally four human beings actually would actually be here fitting here so the size of this archway is made for a giant potentially a five or a six meter giant pretty much i mean it's pretty obvious this is like where the head would fit just like you know kind of comparing it the shoulders and this side but anyway guys it just it just looks very very bizarre and to be honest like it looks very suspicious from my point of view this is clear evidence that the gateways and the doors of the past they were made for beings that were much bigger than us way way bigger than us and most likely those beings are the ancient descendants of the nephilim but guys 
That's it for today's videos. Hopefully you enjoyed this content. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell. It does support the channel massively. And as always, I shall see you later in the next videos. Bye.